So the maternity survey is part of the NHS patient service program uh, that looks at patient experience in England. And there is the maternity survey and four other surveys that look at other services as well. Um, the questionnaire asks about experiences of the whole pregnancy journey. So antenatal care, labour and birth and postnatal services. Um, so overall, obviously, uh, it relates to the International Women's Day at its core because it focuses on a fundamentally female experience of pregnancy and childbirth. Um, and it gives women and other people who give birth a space to talk about their experiences of these services and ultimately to influence their development. Um, so when it comes to the core themes, it definitely touches on theme four which is designing and building infrastructure meeting the needs of women and girls. Um, so the results of this national census give the NHS trusts metrics to use and service improvement. And um, when they get their reports, every trust is benchmarked against other trusts. So they see also how they compare to others. And if the trust has been taking part in the survey for a long time. They can also see a trajectory over time in terms of how they've been doing uh, compared to kind of uh, before. I think male allyship has to be uh, one of those topics for me. Um, I think it gets brought up a lot around this time of year, but then kind of uh, recedes back and, uh, and uh, doesn't receive as much attention all year long. Um, so we know that from our research with the Global Institute for Women's Le Leadership that in the UK, 38% um, of people believe that men are expected to do too much to support gender equality. But at the same time, two thirds of people believe that women won't achieve equality in the UK unless men take action to support women's rights too. Um, so there is this weird disconnect. Um, you know, we have these kind of top line results and they're really interesting and definitely there's something to dig into there. But I haven't seen anything in depth. Um, it would be good to know what's causing these attitudes, uh, what are people scared of and how can we address it and, you know, get men on board because um, gender equality is not a zero sum game. So it benefits everyone, um, not just women. So it would be good to get everyone on board.